So what is multi-channel e-commerce? Well, it's basically been selling your products on more than one e-commerce sales channel and doing it well. You probably started with your own website or Amazon or eBay and then when sales started to roll in, you started to think about other marketplaces. Well, if you sell well on Amazon, there's no reason why you can't sell well on eBay. If you do sell on Amazon or eBay, don't forget to check out my other tips but not just yet. So what's the big stumbling block? What makes people shy away from it? Why is it such a pain in the ass? Stay tuned and I will tell you the one thing which you must take into consideration whenever you're looking at multi-channel e-commerce. Hang in there. So what's the big hoo-ha when it comes to multi-channel e-commerce? Well, it is all about managing your stock inventory management. You have to get that right. That's the whole point. Okay, you've everything set up, you've got your stock, it starts to sell on Amazon, starts to sell on eBay, starts to sell on your own website. Then the whole holiday season begins. Then it comes up to Christmas. Then you're getting loads of orders. People are running around all over the place. Things are looking good. Then what happens? You sell something that you don't have. And that, my friends, you can never do, especially on the likes of Amazon and eBay. You will get your hand slapped and badly, and deservedly so. That's why you need a multi-channel e-commerce management system. You need your inventory to all be synchronizing in live time or in very, very short periods of time so that you don't oversell. That, my friends, is it in a nutshell. You want some sort of system that will, get, that will manage your whole inventory so that you don't oversell. And there's other great advantages to it too. It means then that if you have 20 sales on eBay and 20 on Amazon and 20 on your own website or 50 or 100 or 200 or whatever the case may be, it will all feed into one back office. You just press a button, print all of your invoices, walk around your, your storeroom and just pick everything up. It's not the only advantage stock management. You can also then have all your orders feeding into one centralized area. With a few clicks of the buttons, you print all your invoices, you give them to the person in charge of picking and packing, and they walk around the warehouse or the storeroom and just pick it all up for you, and off you go. You're off to the races. It's efficient, it's well oiled, and it is executing the idea properly. You should do it, my friends, but don't go there if you're not prepared to really manage your stock. No messing around, no half-baked attempts. No, some members of the team want to do it and some members don't. We all have to be doing it and we all have to be on board. We all have to break the old habits, get into the habit of using a new system. It's really important because if one member of the team doesn't scan off the stuff properly or doesn't manage the inventory properly, what's the point? Now, if you're a manufacturer, this isn't such a big deal because you can just make them as you're selling them. But if you're like the majority of other businesses and you are buying the stock in, well then you need to have that on board. It needs to be a well-oiled machine. Join me for more videos on the subject of multi-channel e-commerce. Check my other videos here and don't forget to subscribe and tell me your thoughts on the subject. This has been Patrick from Selling Online Today. Bye-bye.